O O T B B zero one two seven A. Um, the reason I say I'm not a Neo Swedenborgianist is because of what Neo Swedenborgianism is. It is a it is a worldview that seeks to incorporate this new information we have coming at us through these near-death experiences. So modern science, this medical advancements allow us now to resuscitate people and uh, they're unexpectedly coming back with these stories. Tunnel of Light, Grandma, Gardens of Heaven, all that stuff. Uh, and curiously, these stories are very similar to what this dude named Swedenborg said in 1775. And so that's why this is called Neo-Swedenborgianism, because it is a new way of looking at all this stuff that Swedenborg said. And basically, it's, it's the conclusion that it's all in your head. Um, it is a neurophysiological, what, what Swedenborg is visiting and what the near-death experiencers are visiting is a neurophysiological microcosm. So your brain, the way your brain works, that's neurophysiology, you have through language this symbolic self, I, capital letter I. And um, this is a product of words. So when humans started thinking of themselves of themselves abstractly in words, you have this something called I. Like somebody might say, I got my people will even have heart transplants. I got my heart and lungs transplanted. Well, if who are you, right? If you look at that, it's it's you're this you're this symbolic construction self. It's the it's the, the phys the physical self, the phys I call self. And so, speaking neuro sweet sorry, speaking neo Swedenborgianistically, the NDE and the um, Swedenborg's visions. They were visiting a neurological, neurophysiological, neurochemical microcosm of the universe. And so therefore it's all in your head, which doesn't make it go away. And it doesn't make it any less powerful, believable, or profound. It, all that does is locate it in space and time. And if something is in your head, well, that has a certain existence because it's neurochemical. <laughs> so... Um, Thanks. See ya.